Minister Robert Muhammad, I represent the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan in the Nation of Islam. And let me just state the, the case clearly and concisely. There will never be any peace, not in Gaza, not in Ukraine, not in Ferguson, not in Los Angeles, not in Jasper, not in Bel Air, Texas, until the problem of the black man and woman of America is solved with justice. I say this, I stand with Robbie Tolan. The, the lawyers laid out the case. I'm not a lawyer. Others have stated other cases. I'm standing with Robbie Tolan, please. Robbie, where are you? Come here. Mrs. Tolan, come here. I'm standing with Robbie Tolan because he stood up to defend his mother. A man that would stand up and defend a woman. He overcame his fear of death. Love, perfect love, casted out fear. His perfect love for his mother made him stand up against deadly force, and he now has sacrificed his promising baseball career. His mother and father have sacrificed their pension. His father was a successful baseball player. They've sacrificed their pension, their home, their way of life, their peace of mind, their contentment, so that he could defend his mother. A man that would stand up and defend his mother or defend a woman must be defended by the community. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So we're standing with him. Amen. The last point I want to make, the President Obama to this federal court, the Supreme Court, I'm going to say it like this. Just like you can't clean up your kitchen with a dirty mop, you can't clean up the streets of America with dirty cops. Yeah. We have to get these dirty cops, these rotten apples, out of the barrel because they're ruining the rest of them. Yes. And so again, I say, we stand with Robbie Tolan, we stand with Mike Brown, we stand with the family uh, of the Wright family in Jasper for all of those mothers who are crying and for all of those sons who are not here to defend their mother like Robbie. We're standing with Robbie. He's a living witness. God spared his life so that we would have a living witness yeah. that could say to all that we want justice, and if there is no justice, there'll be no peace. peace. If there's no justice, there's no peace. peace. And you cannot have peace without justice, and you cannot have justice without truth. We want transparency so that we can have justice in this case. Thank you for listening. Yeah. I feel I'm late. Can I recall for us participate? We are a civil.